what's up youtube i'm back with another video today and as you can see about the title is about validation this is kind of like a story time it's kind of story time slash inspiration to not seek validation and how i was seeking validation and i didn't realize that i was seeking validation and i'm like yo so before we get into this video if you're new to my channel welcome it's a little random channel talk about a little bit of everything tonight this is what i'm talking about validation if you've been here before you coming back welcome back but anyway so i remember when i um so um, my, my channel is about like self-love a little bit of everything so this is kind of like getting validation about my self-love my image and all that type, my image and all that type of stuff with social media and i didn't realize how much of an influence social media was let me close this though y'all but I didn't realize how much of an influence social media was on me when it came to me seeking validation. Because like I said, at the time, I did not know. So, um, for those of you who don't know, I, I um, used to wear a lot of weave and blase blase. And I went, I, I got tired of weave and I just cut all my hair off in like 2017. Yeah, because I just felt like I was just addicted to it. But I got a whole story time on why I stopped wearing weave. So, I'll leave that link in the description. So, in 2020, yeah, 2020 is when COVID hit. And up until 2017, 18, 19, 20 is when I used to wear my hair like real shaved, real low cut, real low and all that type of stuff. But when COVID hit, y'all know all the barbershops and all that stuff closed down. So, I had no choice but to let my hair grow out. So, of course, I was a little self-conscious in between that stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my goodness, I need a haircut because I was addicted to getting haircuts. And I was like, oh my goodness. So, um, I don't know what. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if my hair is long enough. For I don't know if it was a picture popped up in my phone or what. But I put, it was an old picture of me. Because before I um shaved my hair, I used to wear braids a lot. So the pictures that I posted was probably like three, four years old, right before I shaved my hair my head. I posted a picture on Instagram about, it was a throwback picture. I just posted a picture of my hair and some long braids and when i tell y'all i got like a lot of likes you know what i'm saying like oh they like me with braids that's what i was saying i was like yo i'm getting comments out the comments about these braids wow they like the braids more than my short hair mm. and i was like mm, i wonder if my hair long enough for these braids I wonder if I had long enough for some braids since I ain't had a haircut in a while. So, my mind was just stuck on braids ever since. Like, like I used it. If anybody know my Instagram, especially then, I mean, now I don't post every day. But I post every other day. But then, I was posting at least twice a day, every day on Instagram. But when I posted that picture of my braids and I saw how everybody was responding to those braids and telling me how pretty I was and how cute I look and... Uh, <laughs> All that stuff, y'all, I think I went a week without posting on Instagram. I was deterred. Maybe it was longer than that. I don't even know. It probably was longer than that. I don't even know. But I posted that picture with them braids. Everybody was like, oh, my God, you're so pretty. And oh, my God, you're so pretty. All that stuff. And I was like, I'm about to get some braids so I can keep those compliments flowing in. I'm about to get some braids. And I was like, yeah, I do kind of like braids. I mean, I had my hair growing, so I started growing my hair out specifically for the braids. It was not, I did not start, I didn't, this natural stage I'm in right now was not, oh, I want to be natural now, and I just want to let my hair grow. No, it was specifically so I can get braids. So, I was set on braids, because I'm like, next time I post, oh, the next time I post, they see me them braids, they really going to like me then. They really going to be telling me I'm cute, and I'm just so cute with my braids. And I got my braids. And I got exactly what I wanted. The validation of me being so pretty and so cute with my braids. And I'm like, bruh. And at the time, I wasn't even thinking that. I was like, not at the time, it wasn't even in my mindset that I'm like, wow. But you really is basing your life. Not life, but I'm just saying that moment off of those compliments. And that's why I be telling people, do not base your confidence off compliments and comments. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like now, if I still had that mindset that I had then, do y'all know 
how I will be wearing my hair right now. I'll probably be wearing all types of weave, all type of braids, all type of makeup, all type of all this stuff because I was just so addicted to people telling me I'm so cute, I'm so pretty with my braids and blase blase. And that's why I say a lot of people don't want to admit it, but they they are addicted to that validation, and you have to keep up with that. You know what I'm saying? Once they start telling you you're pretty, you don't want those compliments to go away. You don't want them comments to go away. I'm telling you, social media is where a lot of people begin their validation from. And I just was thinking back. I don't know what made me think about it. I don't know what made me think about it, but I um yeah, but that was just crazy how I was just needed that validation and it just felt so good but now child of course those compliments went away when i stopped wearing braids because i was like i grew in within three months because i got the braids like in what june of 2020 and i stopped being braids in which i ain't saying nothing wrong with braids i'm just saying me did did this video ain't even about braids this video is about the val i mean validation if i would have um did my hair you know, put a tree on my head and everybody, I would have got a lot of compliments on. I would have been walking around with a tree for three months because, baby, I need them compliments and comments to keep flowing in telling me how cute and pretty I am with them trees on my head. So it ain't about this and braids and none of that stuff. It's not the type of video. But I had the braids. I stopped getting braids when in um September of 2020 or October of 2020. Either way, yeah. But yeah, child, it was just crazy, like. And I feel like we all be seeking that validation. We all want people to tell us pretty, tell us we're pretty, tell us we're cute, tell us we look good, tell us we this. And I'm telling you that. I cannot believe I'm in a place right now where I don't care about those things. They don't make me or break me. You know what I'm saying? And that is scary. And that is crazy to think about me. Me, the most insecure person that was, I was, I was, they used to be the most insecure person. The most, I got to have my hair done to to socially to be socially acceptable i all that stuff and to get on the internet every time i get on the internet and 90 percent of the compliments are telling me i look like a crackhead telling me i look ugly telling me i look dusty telling me i look stinky telling me i look unkempt they don't bother me like that's why i tell y'all i'll say this in every video <laughs> if i can get to where i'm at with this self-love and don't need nobody validation <sighs> boy i ain't gonna lie i believe anybody can Cause I was at the lowest of the lowest with my mind when it came to the self esteem, darling, and it came to came to the validation. So, if I can grow past it, not needing validation and to accepting all of me without nobody else um accepting me, anybody can. I'm telling you, it's so liberating and so freeing. That's why I just love talking about it because I just be want y'all to get over here like, bro. So many people be like, girl, people going to look at you like you crazy. Girl, what, you going to go out the house looking like that? Man, I walk around the house, my house looking like this. So what is the problem? Hmm? But yeah, child, you would have never caught me on the internet with my hair like this. With no lashes, no makeup, no nothing. Three, two, three years ago, you would have never caught me like this, child. But I'm here. But yeah, that is all. So I don't know if this was a story time type video. But yeah, I just have to let share this with y'all yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and do not be seeking validation from no one not social media not the end not anybody around nobody to seek validation when you go look in the mirror that's the only validation you need okay because that's social validation baby it's addictive it's a drug don't get, escape while you can because it's a lot of people who are addicted to those compliments and comments and even you even when you don't even you're not even thinking about it you're doing it. Like I said, in the moment, I wasn't thinking about it, but I did it. But yeah, that concludes this video, child. I just want to um talk about that and just share that with y'all. I hope this inspires one person or many people, whoever it inspires. So tell me what y'all think. Do y'all be seeking validation? Did y'all ever realize a moment that you went through a phase of seeking validation and you outgrew that or whatever? Leave it in the comments. And I hope this video inspired you. Don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Either way, do something and comment. Comment good, comment bad, it don't matter. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.